Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to change the color of something in your scene and in this example I'm going to change the color of this red car. So I've dragged my clip into a new composition and then I'm going to duplicate my clip because we're going to create a matte to change the color. So I'm going to click on this layer and then I'm going to press command D to duplicate that layer and then I'm just going to rename it to matte. And um, then I'm going to disable or hide the layer below that and I'm going to right click on my mat and then I'm going to go to effect and then keying and then I'm going to choose key light. Alright, so next we need to choose the screen color. So I'm going to click on the color picker and then I'm going to click on the darker red area here on the side and um, you'll see that the car will change to black. And we want to change the view from final result to combined mat. Alright, you'll see everything will change into a black and white matte image. And then we're going to expand screen matte and then we're going to change the clip black to 100 and the clip white to zero. Basically, we want everything that we're going to change the color of to white. So this is a good starting point. And next, I'm going to right click in this area, go to color correction, and then I'm going to choose levels. And uh, basically, what we want to do is we want to change everything outside of the car area to black and only leave the car um, as white. So I'm going to drag these sliders. I'm just going to drag this in and you'll see that everything around the car will change or will go darker. And then we're going to bring this one up to change everything inside to a white color. All right, just adjust that, something like that. Um, and then you can also adjust the screen softness just slightly. So we get a little bit of a softer matte. Something like that should be okay. Okay, next we're going to create a new layer. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose new adjustment layer. And this will be the layer where we actually change the color. I'm going to place this layer below the mat and I'm going to change the track mat to Luma Matte Matte. And that's basically going to use the matte layer to adjust the color. So now we can enable our clip again. And um, then on the adjustment layer, I'm going to right click, go to effect, go to color correction. And then I'm going to add a U and saturation effect. All right, on this effect, just click colorize and then you can just change the colorize U. Just drag this number around and you'll see that the car will actually change color. And then you can also change the saturation amount. So you can just up or down this to get a brighter color. And as you can see, this area here is not actually working too well, this dark red area. So to adjust that, I'm going to go back to my mat and um, then I'm going to expand the key light again. And I'm going to disable this and also disable the levels. And um, then I'm going to choose my screen color again. Just click on the color picker and I'm going to click on this dark red area. And let's see if that will fix it. So I'm going to enable the key light again and also the levels and then you can see here uh, it's actually looking a lot better. Now be careful you can actually see that some of the outside areas of the car also changed color and we can fix that with a simple mask. So on this matte layer you can click the pen tool and just drag or just draw a very rough mask around the car um, the area that you want to change the color of. So I'm just going to draw a very rough mask like this. Okay, and you'll see that it's only going to affect the area inside that mask. And obviously we need to animate that mask because if I scrub through this, you'll see that um, some areas will actually go outside of that mask. So I'm just going to quickly do this. If I go into my mask settings, just enable the um, animation or the keyframe on the mask path. And I'm just going to go forward and I'm just going to adjust some of these points so everything stays inside this mask. So obviously we need to be careful now because you can see some of the areas close to the cars also being affected. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to do it very rough. You can obviously spend some time and um, just fine tune this pretty well. So I'm just going to go to the middle somewhere, uh, just adjust this again. And as you can see, it's getting pretty close to the car. But it's um, yeah, just something that you need to spend a bit of time with, just adjusting this mask around the car area. Um, I'm just going to fast forward through this and just add a few keyframes. And that's how easy it is to change the color of something in your scene using After Effects. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And remember, I upload new visual effects tutorials on a weekly basis. So please click on that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.